Good day, one and all. My name is Kathy, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of the Scrap and Crafty Gardener. Um, I did put a short out earlier today. Um, I needed to rearrange my craft desk area uh, to get in some new supplies that I ordered, and they came in. Um, I will show you at the end of the video, because I'll have to take the um, camera down to show you this the layout of the desk. Um, but we'll start with the, my Amazon haul and I will show you the, what goes with these when I show you my craft desk. I finally decided to get the Anna Griffith Empress, Anna Griffin Empress die cutting machine. Um, I've seen a lot of people use it. I heard a lot of good things about it and arthritis kind of is making it harder to use a manual machine um, not to mention the frustrations so it came with um, this butterfly um, die cut and I'll be using that later prop later next week I think in a video and it also came with a um, an embossing folder lattice ornamental embossing folder and that's actually kind of Kind of pretty so I'll, I'll be using that also then I ordered that from Amazon and I also ordered this pack of washi tape not that I didn't have 200 plus rolls of washi tape already but this I just love the colors and I'll see if I can get this back out isn't that pretty all the different florals and the vintage feel colors and I love this pink and this blue um, but it's just all pretty. But what I really, really like about this is I'm not going to throw anything away. Look at the back of this box. I can see cutting that off and using that on a card. It's just amazing. Nothing's going to go to waste here. I could even, you know, fussy cut the front out if I wanted to or just put something over here. That was great. And then the next thing I ordered... was this 63 Colors uh, Premium Mica Powder from Cheng Tai Kiji. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. As I saw a way of making your own glitter pastes and stuff like that, um, and glitter gels, so I just wanted to get these. This is a green pearl. It's more like an interference color. But it's got some beautiful colors in here. And the only negative comment I saw about this set online was that you had to put your own sticky labels on the top. I mean, and it wasn't difficult. They came in the exact order that was on the labels. That wasn't hard at all. But look at some of these colors. So I'm looking forward to playing and making my, trying to make my own uh, glitter gels, glitter paste um, for stenciling and to see how it works. It came with a pair of tweezers. Oh, there were little tweezer cups. Oh, I see, so you can just put out a pinch if you need it. And then these cute little tiny spoons for getting out the gel or the mica powders. And they have a little teddy bear on top. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, this one is the one that I'm so excited because I was looking for some classic vintage style car rubber stamps. My big mistake was I didn't order the matching die cut. Um, I will have to do that next month in next month's um, craft budget. But this is from Honey Bee Stamps. I haven't even opened it yet. It says do not bend. So let's open it together. Oh, I think I might just have to cut the top off. It's a beautiful iridescent pack packaging and it's probably making um it hard for you to see on camera oh there's my paperwork i'll set that aside so thankful for you isn't that beautiful you could use that as a card front it's just their thank you for your support um but that I, i'm gonna color that and use it as a card front this 
must have been a thank you gift because I did not order this. It's a die and little scallops and hearts. That is cute. There's no um, type name. Oh, heart tag. Uh, yep, freebie. So that's adorable. Now, okay, two different bags here. Very clever. I like how they have their B on their packaging. Okay. And I also ordered a bunch of different sentiment sayings. I'm trying to, to go away from the Cricut as much as I can because it's a lot quicker to get uh, a rubber stamp out and stamp it than it is to turn the computer on. Wait, turn the Cricut on. Hope the design space isn't updating or whatever, or the computer's not updating. This one, um, I have some Tim Holtz coffee cups, and I think it's a tea set from, oh, I can't remember who my tea set's from. It might be all to new, but these are, hey, sugar, just for you. Hope your day is sweet. Wishing you the sweetest fall um, because adulting is hard. Just really cute things. Now, these I kind of ordered on accident. I thought this was an image of a heart. Now, these are just stickers. And two stickers at that. But I'll use them. Okay. Oh, and this is um, some more sympathy for pets. Um, since I got the other stamps, I saw these and I really like some of the sayings. They walk by our side for a while, but in our hearts forever. Cats leave, dogs leave, paw prints on our hearts. It's not goodbye. We will meet them again at the Rainbow Bridge. These are just awesome sayings. And then this is some flower sayings. In the garden of life, friends are the flowers. Take time to stop and smell the flowers. You're my favorite flower. Thank you. Because I have a lot of flower dyes. Um, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you. Pick just for you. You make my heart blossom. You're such a blessing in my life. Your thoughtfulness is a gift I will always treasure. And then these are Christmas mice because I have a whole bunch of old and new house mouse stamps. Um, so I just love these sayings. Merry Christmas, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Have a very mice holiday. Have a mice day. May the little things bring you joy this season. Have a cheesy holiday. Oh, I think I have one with cheese. Um, no act of kindness is too small. Squeak heart. No peeking and do not open until Christmas. And naughty or mice? Those are cute. Yeah, those are just adorable. Now let's open the bigger pack. Okay. These I ordered because I have the, the Spellbinders um, Sunday Drive and a couple of different car dies. And because of the... Um, vintage car stamps that I ordered. Uh, lucky for you, vintage is in. R no road is too long when you have good company. Uh, we only regret the rides we don't take in life. Um, that's why I, I really ordered those. And then here's just um, a bunch of different sentiments. Take time to enjoy the simple things in life. A bad day fishing beats a good day working. I have some um, fish stamps uh, from Grey Wolf Graphics um, that I got a couple years ago. And I want to get them out and use them. So these are just for all different occasions. Happy Father's Day, Happy Birthday, Happy Retirement. I don't think I had one of those. Um, I'm hooked on you. You got me hook, line, and sinker. That's really cool. And then this is um, Father's Day style cards. For, it says Brother-in-Law. Or Mano. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, maybe some um, different languages for brother, father. He's over here is Pappy, Hefe, great uh, husband, Abulo. I'm going to have to look up what some of these words mean. Um, if they're Spanish, I can ask my cousins. Um, uh, pop, pop, pops, papa, dada, hubby, stepdad, bonus dad, godfather. You can't have too many because I don't have... Honestly, I don't have any rubber stamps until now. 
And then I have these that are just cute. Easter wishes, happy Easter. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. May your heart be full of love and your basket be full of chocolate. Oh, can you imagine taking that um, Spellbinders Easter die with the basket and filling it with little chocolate bunnies? Um, wishing an extra special. And then down here's Easter. You make me so happy. I love those. Oh, they put the one I really wanted at the very end. And here's the ones for the mothers um, that match the Father's Day. This is with love on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And then they have all of the different... Oh, this must be mother because here we have abuela. Oh, I'm terrible at that. And abuelo. I know that's Spanish. Um, and the feminine ends with A and the masculine ends with O. But I'm not sure what that word means. Um, great grandma, daughter-in-law, sister-in-law, mother-in-law, sister, bonus mom, stepmom. Yeah, that'll come in handy. And these are the ones I wanted. Um, we have a car show um, coming up in my town. And my one nephew has a birthday. And he does car maintenance. And it really into um, vintage cars. So I wanted that. I'm thinking of putting the the die cuts for this on my next month's scrapbook um, budget. Which is going to be a lot smaller than it was this month because I got that die cutting machine. Now, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to put you on pause first. And then I'll show you kind of how I set up my desk. Back I'm going to apologize in advance. I hope I don't jostle this too much. I'm going to try and move slowly. I want to start over here with the reason I had to rearrange everything. My Anna Griffith, Griffin Empress machine. Beside it, I have my... Um, foam strips, my tape runner, my double-sided tape, and then I have a basket in the back of projects that I'm working on, uh, like that card I made the other day. I still need to do an envelope for it, so that's the, there. And just on the shelf below that, I have my um, Tim Holtz Tonic Studios uh, guillotine cutter, along with my card stock and my scrap paper. Then I have my little bucket here, that holds my glues, my scissors, my tweezers. And then I come up to the desk and there I just have a basket full of stipple brushes, my ruler, my T-square is in there. I'll come up a little bit. Um, my silicone finger protectors, uh, my wet wipes. And then I have this stand. Hold on, I gotta move the camera uh, thing away. Uh, tissues and I have my stamping platform along and also on that shelf here I have my acetate and I have a piece of fun foam that I use when I need to put, um, poke out an intricate die and then these are the envelopes I put my greeting cards in once they're complete and then down here are my waffle flower grip mats that are extra just a little drawer that I keep pins nail clippers um, and attached to it on the side, I have my two misty stamping platforms, my mini scoring tool, and my Fiskars tape runner. And here, this little basket holds my five, uh, 10 by seven card fronts and the envelopes. That's gonna have to come out of there because I'm going to need to make a shelf to put um, my new mica powders on. And this is what I mean by making a shelf. This is all my glitter. Now let me step back here a little bit so you can see it. Glitters, um, perfect pearls, um, and these little ones down here um, are, let's see if I can get, Born Pretty. Uh, they're meant for fingernails, but you can also use them um, as a polishing glaze. I made that rack out of um, Jenga blocks or tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. It also has my Gina K Glitz Glitter Gels. And between the racks, I keep my baby oil and the rubbing alcohol. And then this rack, I also made out of larger blocks. Um, but you could make it out of the tumbling tower blocks. On top of it, I have my Epsom salts. 
in a container that I've already used and in a bag. I use those for making fake snow. And then all my alcohol inks. And down here are my perfect pearls, enamel accents, stickles. And then going off to the side, you'll see, I think that's my sister-in-law. Yeah, my sister-in-law's table is behind me. Here I have a, a magnetic whiteboard that I can put projects on. And my friend got me this. It's meant for people who work on cars. I think it's from Pittsburgh Automotive, but she got it at um, Harbor Freight. And it's a real heavy magnet. And it holds little pins and screws and die cuts that I need to figure out where they belong to. And I use that for uh, dimensions. I have my two little cats holding it up. And then just my phone and my fan for when it gets summertime. On I smooth my iPad, I had that charging. My phone. This is where my Spellbinders glimmer machine is, along with the dies. And then just down here, I have my jewelry findings, my wood circles that I do napkins on. Let's see if I can show you one of those. Um, on this side, I put a napkin down with Mod Podge. And on the other side, um, this is a picture of my great niece. This one didn't come out so great. I kind of burnt the fake snow on it. So that's just kind of a sample. And that is it. I will be back probably tomorrow. I'm going to try and do a couple videos tomorrow. I got a little bit behind today when I was trying to clean my craft room. So thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, that hand was all blurry. Sorry about that.